history course. My name is Lana and I'm Millie and we are currently taking the two-year GCSE history course. We'd like to give you an overview of all the topics we've been covering over this two-year period. So first of all we start with medicine through time which covers 1250 to the present day, so the Middle Ages to the modern period and so we focus on the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the 18th and 19th century and the modern period which is a really interesting topic. It covers how medicine has evolved. For our next topic, we learn about the British sector of the Western Front, 1914 to 1918, which is the time period really of the First World War. You learn about how disease and injury was treated in the First World War, including gas attacks, shrapnel wounds, plastic surgery and blood transfusions. So our next topic after that is Anglo-Saxon and Norman England from 1060 to 1088. And we cover Anglo-Saxon England and the Norman Conquest, which caused the Battle of Hastings in their 1066, which you may have covered in year seven or possibly year eight. Mm -hmm. uh, William in power in securing the kin kingdom. And Norman England, was it really Norman? Um, which is also a very interesting topic. So we go um, back to before the medieval period. Um, sort of, and um, it's sort of how um, mainly the Normans had changed England and the course of what it was going to become um, forever. Next topic is superpower relations and the Cold War, 1941 to 91. We learn about the origins of the Cold War, Cold War crises, and the end of the Cold War. And then we also go on to uh, Weimar and Nazi Germany from 1918 to 1939, so um, after World War I and towards the end of the second one. So first we know about uh, Weimar Germany after um, the Treaty of Versailles and all that, then the rise of Hitler and the Nazis, which of course was a very um, big topic in most of history, then Nazi control and dictatorship, and life in Nazi Germany. So skills, a range of careers in the future. You'll be taught to write and argue, make and justify arguments, make decisions and formulate your own opinions, kind of like a debate in a way. Assess sources of information for accuracy and reliability. Assess interpretations and understand how these are formed. Explain the interactions between a complex series of events. And if you're still sceptical about doing GCC history, this might change your mind, you can take a lot of courses and careers in history, and taking the history GCC is very useful for, firstly, A-levels that you can study at college, so English literature, law and politics, philosophy, psychology, economics, sociology and media studies. And also jobs in law, politics, business and marketing, economics, research and teaching. Teaching is a good one. Insurance, archaeology, a range of public sector jobs as well. So here we have a few pictures of the Berlin tour. Hopefully I'm indeed very interested in going next year. So from, from my other classmates and you know people in the year above, I've heard it is a brilliant trip. So highly recommend. And um this is what our current GCC students, like me and Lana, enjoy. So we enjoy the diversity of the topics because it's very broad. There is definitely something over the course to interest everyone. For me, I'm interested in uh, Weimar and Germany and medicine through time. Yeah. And for me, we haven't covered this yet in our two-year course, but I'm so excited to get onto the British sector because my favourite topic in history has always been the wars. I've Although it's such a sad topic, I just really enjoy learning about the people who helped give us the future that we have today. And um, our other skills, it really gets you thinking about where we are today, because due to our actions of the past, it can help us determine where exactly we might end up in the future, which is very exciting if you think about it. The topics offer a good combination of breadth and depth. Um, there are so many opportunities for discussion and it's really good being able to make up your own mind because history also has a lot of opinions that you can express. You can be on one side or you can be on the other. There's no really right or wrong answer when it comes to these discussions. And it's really helpful, helpful to keep on developing essay skills. So usually we use a peel structure. 
in our essays as well, which is point, evidence, explain, link. Well, you go into more depth of that when you get into the course. And the course covers more than British history. It's fascinating being able to study the history of other nations, which is really good because over history, we've only mainly been taught British history, and it's so good now that we have such a diversity of different things we could learn in history and other people's lives as well. It's very interesting. Yeah. So that is the end of our slideshow. Thank you very much for listening, and we both really hope you consider joining the History GCSE course. Thank <laughs> you.